Good day everybody, nice to have you back after the restful break. Today we'll be speaking about the central processing unit. So if you all recall, we spoke about what a computer system is. Uh, we had said that a computer system is uh, uh, re or refers to all of the parts of the computer that come together to uh, help us achieve our goal, which would be the CPU, like we have here, the monitor, the keyboard, the mouse, etc. Uh, so yeah, the CPU, which is called the brain of the computer, is where we'll be concentrating, or what we'll be con concentrating on today. Uh, the CPU is also, oh, it's short for the central processing unit. So this is where all of the processing of the computer goes on. Uh, it performs all of the arithmetic and logical operations of the computer. So basically, what the CPU does is it fetches any instructions we give it, it will process it, and then it will give it out or store it on an electronic device for us, maybe a flash drive or a hard drive, or just send it out to you know a screen or a display projector or a monitor. So this, which it does, which I said was to fetch instructions and execute or process, is called the machine cycle so basically it goes to the memory of the computer it fetches any instructions that the users may have saved maybe in form of a software or an application if i can call it that and then uh, the electronics of the computer which is the cable that carries electric charges uh, fetches these instructions from the memory box and sends it to the processor for processing. Uh, the act of it doing that is what we uh, what we call the function called the control unit. That's like basically controlling the way electricity flows in the CPU. Uh, when it fetches these instructions, usually in the form of zeros and ones, which is what we call machine language, uh, it sends those zeros and ones to the processor, which has an arithmetical and logical unit for processing. Uh, so yes, we may ask you, what is the CU? So the CU handles the electronics of the CPU and the ALU handles the arithmetic and logical calculations that take place in the CPU. When it is done with these calculations, the control unit once again carries all of these pieces of data, zeros and ones, and stores them back in the memory unit. These three items make what we call the CPU. However, in most cases, and in WIAC, they may be asking you only of two parts of the CPU, and then uh, that will be the control unit and the arithmetical logic unit. I know you've done this before in your JS3, uh, so yes, I'm just making sure I butter this up as I'll be asking you questions from this in your test. So the three parts that make up the CPU are the control unit, which handles the flow of electrical current and data, the arithmetical unit, which handles all of the uh, calculations for the CPU, and the memory units where the programs are stored or where information is stored after the data has been processed. Please take a look again. We call this the machine cycle, or we can call it the data fetch execute cycle. So it fetches data and then it executes it, saves it, fetches more data, executes it, saves it, fetches more data, that's typically how the cycle goes. So now that we've spoken about how the CPU works, we should be looking now at what uh, consists or what parts make up the CPU. So the CPU generally has about five parts. First, we have the motherboard, which is this green electronic uh, configuration here. It helps us uh, hold all of the electronic devices on this uh, on this motherboard. 
So if say we're having about 100 transistors, all of the 100 transistors will have to be soldered on the motherboard. Okay, so next we have the graphic processing unit. This is called the GPU. Those of you who play games, I know you already know this. So most of the best gaming computers or the computers used for architectural designs and renders need to have a GPU. A GPU assists the CPU in processing graphics. So it has a name, graphic processing unit. The next part of the CPU that's very important is this, it's called the sound card. So I would like to ask, who knows what this jack is for? What is it for? Okay, how about this? these two jacks, what are they for? Okay, great. So just like I'm doing right now, I'm recording audio and that's done using this audio in jack. It's for microphones. And these two are headphone jacks for the left ear and the right ear. So these help sound to go into your computer or come out from your computer after the CPU has processed it. Next, we have the network card. This part of the CPU handles the flow of data or data packets from say MTN or through your LAN or Ethernet uh, to your computer. It helps manage the flow of the network on your computer and hence the name, uh, the network card. Okay, and next we have the microprocessor. The most popular microprocessor company is Intel. They make the best processors. Uh, and uh, from what I hear, the fastest processor is actually the Core i9. I'm not sure if there's a newer one. I'm sure some of you may know. Uh, so this part of the computer is actually the actual brain of the computer. You can see that there's one on this motherboard here and there's one about to be fixed on a motherboard here. This is what does the processing of the computer. So these other parts, the network card, do other smaller tasks. For example, this one handles the flow of data. This handles the flow of sound. This handles graphics rendering. And this is just the green plank where all of these items for uh, electronic components are soldered onto. Okay, so that'll be all for today. I'll be sending you a quiz. Make sure you attempt the quiz uh, in order to get your full score for the test. Have a great one.